What is going on guys? I wanted to do a quick update video on the fairs. Cause I've been looking through the comments. I know a lot of people have been complaining. They're saying that you need to put down something in their cage uh, just because of the metal wires hurting their feet. I do agree with that. I do have stuff in the cage. I wanted to actually show it off for you guys so you guys can just rest assured that there is something on the bottom of their cage. So this is what I usually do. I'm cleaning out their cage right now as I said previously before in my how to keep their fair cage clean and how to get rid of their smell video i try to keep their cage as clean as i possibly can this is the type of setup i usually have i usually have something down here and i kind of use some type of zip ties or something just to make sure that it stays flat on the bottom and this is pretty thick so you know it's a pretty thick thing and then even up here i will admit sometimes i don't put a full blanket down because they kind of just rip it out and they can't get from the down here up there so I usually have some type of thing over here so when they come up here they can eat and they'll probably go over here or something like that so this is what I usually do for their setup up here but especially down here I cover the whole area I'm gonna put that underneath there as well and I'm still rocking their double kitty litter or uh, not kitty litters but they're well I guess technically yeah but I'm still rocking that and if anyone's curious what I'm using I'm using paper pellets I said before using the paper pellets and while I'm cleaning out their cage I have them right here they're just in there for a second hello babies hello guys say hello to the video once again but yeah I try to keep them away from the stuff while I'm cleaning out their cages it doesn't take too long and they kind of they've just gotten used to it they know that it's for their own safety but yeah so overall this is what I have for the cage right now for using this type of spray this deodorizing spray after I clean it out with some more cleaner I use this type of stuff I let it sit for a minute and I just rinse everything off then use some water and go over it again it seems to do the trick quite nicely and yes for all the people that were complaining that I had this water bottle before I have the proper water bottle for them or a proper water bowl um, like I said before, usually you put it up higher so that they don't go in it and play in it But I've been finding that they're not playing in it as much as what I thought they would So I brought it back down. They seem to they seem to get the point I mean sometimes I might come in here and they are like their whole heads in here and they're just splashing the water around But what can you expect? They're ferrets. Oh, yeah, and I do have one more kitty litter over there um, I've been oops, sorry. I've been finding that I've been having to tie everything down with zip ties or like those little things so that they don't move around but overall, they've been using the bathrooms pretty well. They've, uh, yeah, just been training them, and uh, yeah, it hasn't been too many accidents. They've been going to the bathroom inside their kitty litters, and any extra stuff, it will fall underneath here. But usually, with this stuff on top, um, they don't really get just nothing really gets underneath it. You know, sometimes they will burrow underneath this. Um, you know, so hey, they seem to like it, and uh, yeah, that's the setup that I have. But yeah, overall, I wanted to give a quick update video. I know this is a shorter video, but I wanted to give a nice quick update just to let you guys know that yes, I do read through the comments. There's a lot of comments down there. A lot of people are saying a lot of different things. Um, some people have no idea what they're talking about. They have never had a ferret or never really know any. They just don't know anything about ferrets. But you know, people want to comment because that's what they do. But rest assured, I do have something down for them so that they're not just on top of the metal wires. But thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, give me a like. Check out some of the other videos that I've done. I've done a lot of other videos on the ferrets and just, you know, just them in general. So if you like that type of stuff, check out my channel. I've got a lot of other videos with them in it. And uh, thank you guys, and I'll see you.